What's up, guys? It's Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down some of Devontae Smith's preseason route running. I'm going to be talking about how you guys can get better with a whip route, how Devontae Smith's able to get so much separation on this whip route, and just some of the technical points behind this route specifically, okay? So I hope this video gives you guys some value. I hope it teaches you a few new things just about route running, how you guys can get in and out of your breaks much cleaner and much faster and much more efficient. But also, fellas, if you're a wide receiver and you're maybe not sure what drills you need to be doing on the field to improve your game, to improve your route running, press releases, catching ability, explosiveness, Check out that very first link in the description for our 28-day on-field wide receiver workout plan. So what it is, it's a four-week workout schedule where we give you all the specific sets, repetitions, and drills to improve your overall game as a wide receiver. We give you also a 30-minute long video where we break down each day of the plan. We break down every single drill, the importance of the drill, and then we show you a full-speed example of each one. So I hope you guys could check that out. Very first link in the description below. Let's get started with this video. So we're going to be looking at this whip route from Smith here, and he does such a great job being able to drop on a dime. You see the separation that he's able to get at least about five yards of separation from this DB and be able to catch this ball and get the first down. So let's talk about this. So on a whip route, fellas, there's two ways you can run it. You could either run it off of a slant and then you come back out where you break off of three steps, three steps to the slant, then break it back out. Or you could build off of a drag. So if you're like a drag heavy team that you guys like to run a lot of mesh concept, maybe a situation where like it's like a post dig drag where you're coming underneath, this is what builds off of that. So it's got to make sure, or we got to make sure as a receiver that it all looks similar. This is something you see guys like Keenan Allen or Tyreek Hill or back when Julian Edelman played these are some of the things that they like to do because they were drag heavy teams, right? So now when I'm running full speed into this break, what gets this DB to bite on the drag is I got to have eyes. Number one, my eyes got to be selling the drag. My hips and my shoulders have to be committed to the drag and I have to be full speed. Nobody runs a drag with choppy steps. So that's exactly what Smith does. Now, when you guys drop on a whip route, what I teach personally, and I, because I feel this is a more efficient way to get out of this break, I teach dropping on the leg closest to the quarterback. So your inside leg, a lot of people, you see it sometimes they drop at the outside leg and that's not necessarily bad, but I think a whip route is one of those routes where um, you can get out of it in two steps. It's like a hitch route. On a hitch route, you don't want to be taking three steps at the top of the break. It's a short enough route to where you can take two steps, pop this thing off, and then come back to the ball. Same thing with this whip route. So you see how Smith, he drops on that inside leg on a dime. There's a violent drop, and you see the explosive position he's able to get to with his hips. His chest is forward. His chest isn't straight up in the air. A lot of receivers, when they'll drop on a break, they'll drop. They'll drop their hips, but their chest and their chin are pointed straight up in the air. When you guys lean back, you lose explosiveness. So you want to make sure that you're dropping at your hips. Your hips are violent. You're bringing your chin to your knee because this is that position where you can stop and decelerate when you're running full speed. The whole goal is to be able to sell this slant, sell vertical. No different than when you're running a curl route or a comeback route. You got to be able to sell vertical for this portion and be able to drop right on a diamond. How you do that is you're violent with your hips and you get your chin to your knee so you're in that explosive pad level position. Now to be able to get out of this thing efficiently, your shin angles are super important. Now I know that's very detail oriented, but a lot of people don't do this. A lot of people will drop on the inside leg, but they're out outside leg is straight up in the air. Their shin is pointed straight up in the air and their butts popped up in the air. You lose explosion and you lose drive out of this break because we've talked about it before. Three phases of every route. You've got the stem, which is in this case the slant. You've got the break point, which is right here. And then we have to be able to accelerate to widen the distance from this DB. Now, if I'm not in this 45 degree angle shin position, I'm not going to be able to drive out. So you got to make sure that you drop on the inside leg and you want to hook your outside leg all the way around. You see how Smith does exactly that. Drops on the inside, hooks on the outside because now the weight's on the inside arch of his foot. His shin angles are in that 45 degree angle towards the sideline. So now all he has to do is push off of this outside leg, rip those arms, and you see how fast he's able to get out of this break and how much explosion he's able to generate out of this whip route. That's what keeps the separation, right, fellas? Anybody can get separation. Anybody can create space at the top of the break, but can you keep that separation, that shin angle on a whip route, and you being able to push off of that outside leg that hooks back around is what's going to get you out of this break. That's a textbook whip route here by Devontae Smith. Let's watch the thing again full speed one more time. Great job, Drew dropping on a dime, hooking that leg around, and then being able to explode out of this break to burst up field and get that first down. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to leave those in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. I always appreciate the feedback. Always appreciate the things you guys have to say. It helps me come up with new ideas for videos, so I definitely, definitely appreciate it. And also, fellas, if you guys want a four-week on-field wide receiver workout schedule, all the drills you need to do broken down into specific sets and repetitions, and we include a 30-minute instructional video where we break down each day of the plan and we show you the drills full speed and explain the importance of each one check out that very first link in the description fellas hope you guys could check that out i'll see you guys next time